What up, bite there? Welcome to the Premier Lawn video. Today we're going to be replacing this tired old lawn. I'm going to show you the process from start to finish. So stick around. This is a fast way to turn a terrible lawn into a great lawn. Make sure that you watch until the end of the video to find out how it turns out. It is a good solution for anyone that wants to fast track to the perfect lawn. To the start of this process, we look to strip as much of this lawn off as we can, so it's just a matter of going over, round and round and round with the scar far, take as much off as we can. We go over it multiple times, stop, clear it up, and then we'll go again. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button. Just go ahead and smash it for me. Subscribe for more videos like this. It takes a lot of passes over the top to make sure that we lift and clear away the old lawn. The best thing about this process is that you can tailor make a lawn to your own exact specifications and end up with a fantastic lawn right from the word go. So now we've done it, we've done it four times, now we're going to clear it up again and then we're probably going to get the aerator out and run the aerator over it and then that will be us good to go. So let's go on that now. The aeration, we do this so as the ground isn't compacted and the lawn's going to get off to the best start. Skipping aeration whenever you're doing a lawn renovation like this, you could end up having a very poor lawn very quickly again. This is a, an important step. A quick clean up before we start into the seeding and top dressing. Today we're showing the lawn out with a dwarf rye and a creeping red fescue. This is going to provide a really nice lawn. A quick sprinkle along the edges to make sure that we don't miss anywhere. Next up we have the topsoil. We use this bag screen topsoil as it is weed free. It's heated weed free topsoil and it'll help get the seed off to a really good start. I did a video last year, the best way to grow grass from seed. We tested the top five ways and this stuff came out top. A link to it below. This section of lawn has fallen away, so I'm going to try and just build that up. I had intended to run the drag mat over this lawn, but it is quite small and more than comfortable just to use the landscaping rake. So I'm going to use this here just to level it out. Raking out the soil is going to ensure that you have good seed to soil contact and it's also going to level out any humps and bumps in the lawn. A 
quick fade with our Prey Seeder fertilizer. This is going to get the seed off to the best start. Now we're going to use some horticultural fleece. We'll put this down over the course of the lawn and it's going to help get the seeds off to a better start. We're filming this quite late on in the year. If you were sowing the lawn during the summer, you wouldn't need this stuff. It's very important whenever you put in a new lawn that you keep it watered on a daily basis for at least six weeks. If you want to learn the best way to grow grass from seed, make sure you watch this video here.